Welcome everybody, my name is Michael and today we're discussing about 40 different FICO scores. When FICO was first introduced over 25 years ago, obviously there weren't as many options. Right now there's different scores that factor in different decisions, such as auto lending FICO scores, which we're talking about today, of which there are, I believe, nine because there's three credit bureaus and there's three for every credit bureau, and um, yeah, there's different decisions into why TransUnion might be a little bit higher or lower than Equifax, and it's a lot of variables that can span 5, 10, 15 years into why one person that it goes on Credit Karma and sees their Vantage score, completely different company now, completely different scoring methods, they see a 700 suddenly has a 600 while the other person also has a 700 and sees a 685 but in my case on the vantage scores which uh, credit karma has two of the three credit reporting agencies chase has the other one um it was 620 and 625 and then i think chase was 623 or 622 it's kind of in the middle so they're all kind of close to each other that's the vantage score vantage scores are usually higher they don't count as much and it's expected that the fico score will be lower when you go to discover there's a couple banks usually credit card companies that show you the real fico score i think bank of america is another one american express they show you the real fico score instead of using a vantage score and you can usually find out chase shows the vantage score with that I had a 589, and then I thought, you know, somewhere around there I'd be, um, probably because last time I took out a car loan, I was at, I think, 533 or 534. That was my actual FICO score with Capital One while doing the auto lending. There's FICO 8, FICO 9, FICO 10, whatever. And that's usually a lot lower. Also, when you're renting and getting mortgages, that's also low. Those two are always going to be the low ones. When you're trying to get a credit card, it's a lot easier. When you're trying to get a personal loan, that's a lot easier. But... When you are trying to get an auto loan, they have more options. There's definitely a lot more options for lower credit customers where with credit cards and credit unions and bank um, bank programs and loans and personal loans and whatnot. Uh, personal loans and business loans are the toughest to get. So usually some cards you need uh, 600, 650, some loans you need 650 and above. Some banks and credit unions only accept 700 and some even only 750 and some renting apartments and uh Mortgage companies only accept 700 and above, 750. There are some that even say you have to be 800 or above. And technically it goes all the way up to 850, technically 900, but 850 is like a perfect score. 900 is the new models and whatever. So with that, I was looking for a new car today and we applied and, you know, through minus three points, which is fine. I didn't get it. Um, they said I needed half, half of the car as a down payment, which is absolutely absurd. Because my credit score grew, um, but despite it being you know 589 and Discover and 620, 625 Vantage score, I knew it was going to be in the 500s. Thought close to 590, maybe 580, whatever. It was at 564, so much much lower, much much lower. Of course, this is a FICO Auto score, but it's crazy that it only grew from 533 or 534 to 564. That's quite a bit in eight months, but compared to the fact that I got multiple personal loans within that time period, I had my Discover card upgrade into an unsecured card, which helped raise my you know credit history. The amount of time that has passed from my collection from many years ago, um, all of these are factors into the diversification, the fact that one of these personal loans, the credit builder loan, the self-lender, um, we are well past 50%. We're close to 60% done. I could probably pay that off today and whatever, get a couple hundred bucks because most of that money you actually get back. It's just to build credit, but I was going to still keep it. I think I still have nine months left to go. Um, with my personal loans, my credit cards, my car loan, there's not a single missed payment. I'm keeping credit utilization low. Oh, and by the way, if you missed the update from the last credit video where it jumped down because uh, Discover decided to report it early and then they reported a second time. When they reported a second time, everything went back to normal and it actually went up a couple points. The problem is um, with the 564, I wasn't able to get anything. You know, it's like when you're looking at a $30,000, $35,000 car, um, plus taxes and fees, of course, 
which is still less than the average American car. Um, they wanted half of the money down. So I went to a different dealership within our auto group because better chances. And we were taking a look at a Genesis. You know, it's a Hyundai long warranty, whatever. And I had better chances, but um, they wanted $9,000 down compared to the other one wanting $18,000 down. Uh, this one was actually a couple thousand dollars less. It was a car for thirty one. Um, but still, it's absolutely insane that there is a credit scoring system with 40 different credit scores. And yes, there are reasons because um, one is for this industry, one is for another industry. They look at different things. But I wish there was a way that you could see, not just credit karma. I would pay for a service. And there are services that you can pay that they check once a month. But I wish there was a service that you can check. Listen, I want to know exactly. I don't know why my eyes are freaking out. I want to know exactly why. Okay, give me a second. Okay, we're back. So um, I wish there was a way I could see. Okay, I'm trying to get an auto loan. Let us pay us for a service. And there's services that you pay five, twenty dollars even per month to see your real FICO and what you can do to help and whatnot. I would pay just to be able to avoid the, you know, uh oh, are we gonna lose three points every single time? Um and going to the dealership and wasting your time and money, you're going to lose a lot more than 20 bucks in gas and whatnot. And finding out that, whoa, not even close, not even close. Um, and it, it's not like I'm being unrealistic. Uh, I'm trying to put $3,000 down. Could probably even do $4,000 down. That's a fair amount. Unfortunately, with the credit score, I was hoping, you know, I'd be in the 590s. I was really hoping to be around there because that's where Discover said I was. And that's probably what I'd be at, or maybe even $600 um, for credit cards. But not for this, because I know for sure Discover had a much higher scoring system because I got the car, because I'm using them. So we went with Cap One, a bank that I already have a loan with. Now, we are going to try a couple more things tomorrow within the same auto group, because I am thinking, I'm going to keep you guys updated, I'm thinking of selling my car through Carvana, it's getting me a lot more. And I think Cap One thinks that I'm trying to get two cars at the same time. So we're going to try and figure that out. But ultimately, even if it goes down to, oh, only 8000 or, oh, only $5,000 down payment, I mean, that's better. But still, it's it's crazy because I'm building my credit score. It takes years, obviously. Um, you know, you make a mistake and it follows you for the next seven and a half years or even more. I wish I could go back in time and either declare bankruptcy and not pay, you know, a single cent because I lost easily twenty five, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 by paying it. And it, it, I still had a trash credit score, so I don't even know why I paid um, or, you know, avoid the, the sort of mistakes that I did. But anyways, with that, um, we're going to try and find a car. I really like the Genesis. The Genesis G80 was a really smooth ride. Now it is a sedan. It's not an SUV, but, uh, um, the reason we went to that dealership is because the SUV that I wanted was available up until that very day when it was sold. So, um, you know, just my luck. But with everything, tell me your experience with FICO scores. Do you think this is a good model? Do you think this is a bad model? I don't think it's the best model. I think it's a good idea, but if there was a way to check your scores easier, I don't think the Vantage score helps. I think it confuses people, and I understand the difference between that. So I was going into it like, oh, okay, 625 you know, let's take the lower of the two scores, 620 or 625, 620. Let's subtract 40 or even 50 points. So we're looking at 580, maybe 570. Nope, still lower than that. It's like, it doesn't make sense. And one of my managers today said, with some scores, it could be a difference of 100 points. That's absolutely insane. So you go in, you're 600, and suddenly, bam, it's a, it's a 500. You go in, you're 700, 600. The, there's different tiers. And you could drop two tiers, two tiers, and it just doesn't make sense at all. So I'm going to continue making my payments on time. I will get to a point eventually when I'm going to have a good credit score and I'll be behind all this and whatnot. I'm essentially paying for a better credit score right now. The personal loans and a secured card and rebuilder loans and whatnot, that, that's that's fine. You know, as long as I'm building my score, we, we definitely moved quite a long way, but... Um, I definitely want to have my FICO above the 600, so i got to get my credit karma close to 680 or 700 to feel really secure if for the next apartment I want to get approved without a cosigner. But I did get approved for my previous car with a $5,000 down payment, but that was a worse credit score without a cosigner. So I thought, you know, maybe this time, yes, this car is much more expensive, 
But I thought with the rising credit score and the other thing, my income, my income more than doubled, which does help. It definitely helps because with auto loans, the previous auto loan was, you know, I, I forgot what I put in, but I was making 30, 40, whatever. Uh, this I put in $72,000 because, uh, because I was sick and, you know, with, with my injured back and whatnot and the fact that April was a bad month, I was on track easily to make 80, 90, but now it's fallen down a little bit. During the summertime, I'm sure it'll go back up. But right now, it's just not that it's bad timing. Anyways, yeah, well, we're going to see what we can do tomorrow. Maybe maybe we're able to straighten something out. But if not, it is what it is. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you have any uh, fun experiences with FICO scores. Bye.